I recently watched a video that I just found very disturbing. I find the video so tasteless that I'm not even going to link to the video. I'm not even going to say who the video is by. Basically, the video is going is a three four minute tirade. No, not tirade. Ti three minute monologue about how YouTube is being unfair for taking down tribute videos of Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold. Now, for for the most of you, most likely will already know who the, what those names are referring to. But for those that know, those are referring to the two teenagers who went up to their school in Colorado in 1999 and killed 12 student, 12 of their classmates and a teacher, killing 12, 13 innocent people that day. I think I'm going to I'm going to play the video itself so you get an idea what I'm talking about. I will not link to the video. I will not state who the video is by. And I will warn you, the, the audio clip you're going to be listening to is going to have harsh language. So, if you are easily queased by that, I recommend turning this video off. Because you will be disturbed by the language. If you are easily offended by foul language. Let's get started. This video is to the YouTube crew. I don't know uh, any other way to uh, reach out this important message. So therefore, I do this video. It's about Eric Harris and uh, Dylan Klebold in general, you know, who did this uh, school shooting scene back in 1999, the Columbine Massacre. And uh, well, For they, the record, he puts the ma words massacre in, quotation, in, in this kind of quotation symbol. Which is just, it's disgusting. They, you know, when people load up tributes on the, those people, they always get deleted and they always get a warning. Sometimes they even get banned from YouTube. It doesn't matter if you like them or not when it comes to this case here. Because my point is, why can't they have tributes or videos as well? when people like fucking idiots and piece of shits like serial killers like Ted Bundy who raped and killed a lot of women and children have tributes and uh, Jeffrey Dahmer who uh, killed and eat uh, eaten human flesh and uh, fucked their dead bodies have tributes and uh, other serial killers as well like uh, Ricky Ramirez and the list goes on uh, not to mention uh, you know uh, other school shooters like uh, Kip Kinko, who I think, I believe, he wasn't crazy. I mean, he was fucking crazy. He wasn't bullied like Eric Harris and Dylan Cleaver was, but he was fucking crazy. He had the right, he has the right for the to record, have tributes. For the record, no one disputes that Eric Harris and Dylan Cleaver were bullied. What's, what is disputed is about the extent that they were bullied. On YouTube. But then again, that's beside the point. You know, this this fucking pissed me off because every single motherfucker you can imagine has the right to have tributes on YouTube. Just look look it up on YouTube. All kinds of sick fucks have tributes. You know, but when it comes to the bullet people like Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold, no fucking way. They have no rights. So I wonder, YouTube, how much do the so-called uh, victims at Columbine pay you to keep these videos away or uh, I, I, I can't see another thing uh, then you got paid for it because it's fucking ridiculous you let fucking videos with Ted Bundy who fucking raped and killed people you know and tortured them to death have tributes but not Eric Harrison died in Klebold you know they, they, it's so fucking crazy so I, I can't find the words but not only when it comes to tri tributes, like I said, you know, it's also, um, I know a guy, for example, he loaded up a video of uh, Eric Harris and uh, Dylan Klebold, uh, someone of them anyway, uh, they uh, drove a car, you know, nothing else. They just drive a fucking car and the person got the warning and they deleted his video. And now the risk is 
YouTube will ban him. They only fucking drive a car, man. And, you know, but, but they, they still let, uh, they still show uh, soldiers get shot in the head and they, they still show uh, pictures of uh, all kind of fucking sick stuff, you know, and tribus, like I told you about earlier, on all kind of sick, sick fucks on YouTube. So why, why can every single person, whoever it is, have a tribute, but not Eric Harris and Diane Klebo. That's my fucking question. And I want to fucking answer. And I don't want you to delete this video. Oh, I maybe get banned because I did this video now. Oh, shit. Okay. Peace out. It's fuck. Now, I don't know if this video is either a parody or if it's serious or you're just doing that to get attention. Hence why I'm not going to give this video the attention it deserves by linking the video in the description box. I will not state the name of this person. But I will talk about what this video is talking about. First of all, YouTube is not a quote-unquote public venue. Yeah, it's a public forum, but it's owned by a private company. YouTube has the right to dictate however they want. Like, they have the right to dictate what videos are allowed on their site and what videos are not. Now, hypothetically speaking, if if what you're saying is true about YouTube not allowing tribute videos of Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold on their site, I assume it will most likely be because of hate speech. Because YouTube has the right to dictate what they consider hate speech, whether you like it or not. I'm not going to go into the technicalities of how YouTube's uh, policies work in regards to this issue. However, assuming for the sake of argument that Eric that tribute videos of Harris and Cleveland were, were always taken down and the other tribute videos, assuming for the sake of argument that is true, YouTube still has the right to do that because it's their venue. It's their property. YouTube is not ours. YouTube is just... We just use YouTube. We use it... As long, every channel that we have is basically YouTube's channel. We just use their property. As long as we go by, go by the guidelines that YouTube sets, then we are then then we are then we can post whatever we want. As long as it goes by the the guidelines of YouTube, because YouTube itself that is their property. They can do whatever they want. And if they want to take down tribute videos of serial killers, they're perfectly in their right to do so. They are perfectly in their right to do so. Now on to the second point of this video. The idea of a tribute video to any serial killer, especially Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold, is sick. There's no getting around it. Columbine was a tragedy. I was 10 years old when Columbine happened. I was 10 years old, but so I don't I don't have the memory then as I do now, but I still remember that day. I still remember like going early in middle school, like early in middle school where we were being taught procedures by by the by the teachers of what to do if a gunman ever came to our school. We were taught to hide in their desks in classrooms, and they would they would have drills of what to do, hiding under tables, and then we'd be locking the door and closing the blinds. They were we were taught that. They had these procedures, thanks to Columbine. Thanks to people like Eric, Eric Harrison Klebold. I've been I've studied this case for a while. I've read the stories. I read the reports. I've read about the story. What's been what's going on? It's a very tragic story. Harris and Klebold were two very disturbed individuals. They had opposite personalities, but they were both equally disturbed. Harris was more disturbed than Klebold. I can actually, I will admit. 
feel more pity for Cle for Dylan than I do for for Eric, because Dylan was was depressed and suicidal, and suffered from suicidal thoughts for a long time. And it's, as someone myself who has suffered from clinical depression, I can totally understand that. Obviously, it doesn't mean I condone what he did, but I can understand his pain understand the same miserable perspective that he saw the world through. He's Harris, on the other hand, was a psychopath. He was like, um, he was charming and said what, what you wanted to hear and got good grades in school while behind everyone's back had plans to kill hundreds. When, when Klebold and Harris decided to do what they wanted to do. It wasn't just uh, a simple bombing. I mean, not bombing, a shooting. No. They wanted... It. it was originally supposed to be a bombing. They wanted to outdo the Oklahoma City bombing. They wanted to be the next Tim Timothy McVeigh. They wanted to kill... They wanted to wipe the entire school off the map. They wanted to wipe the entire school off the map. Why? Because of their rage, because of anger, because because of bullies, and bullies. Yeah, no one denies that people were bullied there to a certain extent. But even still, it doesn't excuse what they did. They they were they were really psychologically disturbed individuals. If if Dylan had gotten the help that he needed. He probably would have lived a normal life. Harris was beyond the point of no help. There, if you read, if you read his journals, if you read his writings, you would see the the evidence that people like Harris was a was a born psychopath. He didn't want to just he didn't want to just kill the people that bullied them. They wanted to kill everyone at that school. He even says in his journals, like, there's a hundred people uh, who I don't want to die. And then he says, everyone must die. That to me is the, is the evidence of a sick mind. Now the reason why I, I, I explain all this is because the people who make tributes to people like Harrison Klebold do not understand the, 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 the psychological problems these two had. They do not understand that the people they killed, they were just, they were random targets. They killed indiscriminately. The people they wanted to kill, they, they wasn't just bullies they wanted to kill. It wasn't just jocks. They wanted to kill everybody. They wanted to outdo Timothy Bay. They wanted to be famous. They wanted to terrorize an entire nation on live television. Hence the reason why they left behind journals. They knew going into that building they were, they were going to shoot up as many, kill as many people as they could. Then, then, by the end of it all, would kill themselves. That is not something to be, pay tribute to. That is just... That is not something to pay tribute to for any kind of school shooting. Columbine in particular. We, we had worse school shootings. For example, the Virginia Tech massacre that happened in 2007. I remember Virginia Tech very clearly. And that was a very tragic, very tragic. It pains me to this day that people make tribute videos to serial killers like Harrison Cleveland. To be honest, I don't hate, I don't hate them. I feel more pity for them, more I, more I read into their story, more, more into this tragedy. Stories like Columbine, Virginia Tech, you know, any kind of massacre that's happened throughout history, they are to be studied, not, not to idolize or give tribute to the people who caused these massacres, but to understand the human psyche, to understand what drives people to do terrible, 
evil deeds, of pure, of, of pure evil, of murder, of cold blood. When I read these comments, when I read, the, when I watch these videos of, pe of people actually giving tribute to people like Eric, Eric Harris and Dylan Klebold, of the, the perpetrator of the Virginia Tech massacre, of people who, who quote-unquote support Harris and Klebold, and saying, making all these absolutely asinine excuses, saying, well, yeah, they were, but they were bullied. The victims were all bullies. Bullies then. They were having a, t you know what? Shut up. There is no excuse for mass murder. No excuse. Any sort of murder that you give on to yourself. Any sort of murder that you commit. Doesn't matter if you do it under the pretense of being bullied or having psychological problems of anger. Any innocent person you kill in the process does not justify your anger. There is no justification for it. And people who and, and for that reason for one of those reasons alone, people who make tribute videos to people like Harrison Klebold should be ashamed of themselves. Because they they are just all they're doing is proving to people like myself and everyone else in the world that all they're doing is priding themselves ignorant in their ignorance.